more people. Hello. Hello. None of you happen to be a panelist, right? <laughs> All right, okay. Well, as far as uh, large makeup goes, like if you see with the Hex costume, she has the whole body face, which is good for her when it comes to masquerades, being, which is the main point, being seen from a distance, especially at the back of the stage. You want to make that, uh, that first impression really good. A uh, good thing to do is always do cake makeup. Powder does work really well, but what will happen is sometimes is it will end up blowing off or it might not come on as mad or as uh, evenly as it could be. So cake makeup is really good because when you mix it with water, it will hold a little better. It will give you a smoother finish. But another thing to do is if you don't want to if you're willing to add a little extra money to it, there's a product you can get. It's just like an oil type of makeup. It's an oil type of makeup liquid that you just add a little bit to it and it will stop it from sweating and any run marks. Like, you can wear, uh, what I have is I have the oil-based one, which is really good so it doesn't run if uh, you're sweating and it gets hot outside, as it obviously does, or under stage lights, which is good. As far as masquerade makeup goes and stage makeup goes, you definitely want to remember that the emphasis is on, like, more is better because it will, you will be able to see, like, a little bit of eyeliner is perfect for a hall makeup during the day because you don't want to come off as too bold. So, it's good to, like, even a little bit more than you might feel comfortable with does not seem like that on stage. When it comes to, I've uh, done some Okay, right now. I've done some uh, plays at high schools where I've done the makeup and what will usually happen is you just cake it on. Like if you've ever seen those women that walk around and just so much makeup that you wonder what's going on. Well, what will happen is the more makeup you have, like you want to have the right, if, let's just say you're going for red lips. I certainly did. Blending. 
Like I've used the um, the True Blend product, the foundation, the liquid foundation. I find that works really well for me. I'm not sure for other people, but it's really good for just blending and it makes everything look a lot more even in the end. Okay, so once you've got your powder on, then I usually do the eyes. So uh, you can either do eyeliner first or eyeshadow first, depends on what effect you're going for. Um, if you're doing a sort of a smoky eye, you can do the eyeliner first and then kind of smudge it and blend it and then put your eyeshadow on top. Uh, if you want a really sharp line on your eyeliner, then you probably want to do your, eye, your eyeshadow first, get all that blended in, and then do your eyeliner on top to get a really sharp line. I wouldn't recommend it, you can if you want, but at your 